today we would waste some money on Dirty Bomb. So the last and only video on this channel was me buying the Obsidian loadouts for Artie, Fletcher, and Stoker. Uh, didn't mind that, they were about $10 a piece if you bought the uh, three of them all at once. You got them a little cheaper uh, than $10 a piece, or I think one of them was 12 uh, There were different prices for each. Turtle was released yesterday, and it's $21 for the Merc and one Obsidian card. And the card is, in my opinion, not even that good of a card. It's just a reskin of him. Uh, on not that's not the card I would pick. I would pick the uh, keck with um, there's like a keck with flinch on it, or uh, the one that reduces your flinch, and that one would be the one I would pick. I would not take the SMG9. That's a horrible gun in my opinion. Um, but it's an obsidian card. I'm gonna want it. It's gonna be rare. It's gonna be cool. Uh, it's ooh very expensive. I already have the trinket, uh, which I would recommend buying this over. The obsidian card because they're charging you ten dollars for the merc and i do have 50k credits right now i could just buy them with credits i don't feel like mercs are worth ten dollars i feel like i feel like the mercs are worth like two dollars and fifty cents maybe in my opinion at least uh, some people would pay ten dollars for a merc because i can earn 50k credits pretty easily it'd take me like maybe two or three days of playing a little bit uh per day um but if you if you are like a normal player, maybe it takes you a little longer to get those credits. I don't know. But I don't think it's worth it. I wish they would give you an option if you bought the Merc with credits for a cheaper version or just sell the card by himself. I think Shu said on Discord, I think I saw some on the Reddit that uh, they're not going to have the card by itself. So if you want the card, you have to buy Turtle. Even if you already own Turtle, it still costs 22 Canadian dollars or... Uh, whatever region you live in probably a price difference there. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully there is because 21 Canadian dollars is a lot less than uh, 21 or 22 US dollars. So yeah, all right, let's buy turtle and the obsidian card for turtle I don't already have him for credits. So I guess the $10 Merc This will be the first Merc I ever purchased also. There we go. That is the first Merc I ever purchased and turtle the first card i have for turtle i guess is going to be an obsidian might as well add that to my favorites why not uh let's check it out in barracks so turtles here he's disabled and ranked right now uh probably because there's a bug or something with him so let's throw him on there on the loadouts actually no i did get a i already got one from a box but i guess the second card i ever got for turtle would be his obsidian so he's got a shield and stuff uh let's hop in to some gameplay Okay, I found a match, finally. Uh, you click on a server, it says there's a slot open, it's full. You click on another server, it says there's a slot open, it's full. That happened to me about four times. Finally found a server that is not full, and now I gotta wait in a queue for some amount of minutes. I'll see you guys in the match. All right, we're in the match. I have three on turtle. Whew. All right, oh my God, that deagle. I'm kind of playing like lower uh, graphical options than I normally play on. So the game runs better. Oh my god, the yellow gloves, the deagle. I haven't seen, okay, so I haven't seen the vanilla uh, skin for Turtle. I imagine it looks half decent. What the in-game skin for Turtle looks like. Oh, he's got the Smith and Wesson on the secondary. Gloves are not yellow. <laughs> And uh, yeah, normal looking guns, of course. That's it. But this deagle, mm, very nice looking. Has my whole team been wiped already? I, I think, yeah. Oh yeah, and if you haven't seen this trinket animation, it's amazing. It's probably the best animation they put on a trinket. I can't aim with a deagle. All right, I've never placed a shield before. Let's try that. Right here seems like a good place. With the spawn trap and all. Okay, I can see this being useful. Oh, I right, yeah, shouldn't have took down that shield. It's 
That's why I don't record gameplay. I suck. Oh, and the shield's down. Did I get XP? I think I got block XP. All right, top score on my team. Don't know if, I don't know the shield spots. We're moving up pretty quickly now. I think our team got their stuff together. And they're... Oh, that's a new car. I am an engineer. Oh, my shield. Shit. Rip. There's nades flying everywhere. Uh, okay, my shield's still not up yet. Alright, so the turtle's probably gonna be my engineer of choice. Oh, don't run that over. Okay, so it, it hit the shield, but it... Do we have a medic? Yeah, nice. What the hell? But it didn't take it out because it didn't hit the base. So it has to hit the base. So if the EV doesn't hit the base, it won't take it out. Okay, that's good to know. I can see the shield being very useful for pushing objectives in tighter areas on the map. Let's put shield right there. Like how you would actually get it first. Oh, that's a lot of people behind us. Might be a bad spot for a shield right there. We get shield XP though, a lot of it. Ow, you should get more for shield XP though. That shield XP seems a little low, like when you compare it to heal XP or something. Like I feel like a shield, da blocking damage from a shield, is comparable to blocking damage from uh, or from heal it. In my opinion, game seems to be running a little slow. I, I think it's comparable to heal damage. But you don't get as much XP for it, which kind of sucks. Let's bring in some shield. Or maybe you do get as much XP for it, but the shield just has less health. So it's not continuous like the uh, aura station. Which does make aura one of the most overpowered perks, at least if you're trying to level up. Okay, I deployed it right here, not because I want to use it right here, but because I want to see about... Oh, I got all the time back. Okay. Interesting. So... I'm not sure how that mechanic works exactly. Need some health and some ammo, so I'm just gonna run away. I got toughness on this one, so health regens faster, so let's just take a little break, get some ammo. Not get shot by Fragger. Let that guy steal my kill, come on. And we're done. When you place down that shield, like, all the grenades fly your way. <laughs> oh no. That shield did not help at all. But it got me a lot of XP. Garrett, I haven't played Doc Garrett that much. I'm not a big fan of the map. I think the new uh, heist map or the bank map, whatever it's called, is actually really good. It's a lot better than Doc Garrett. I'm, I wasn't a big fan of Doc Garrett the first time I played it, and I've probably played it a, a good 20 times since it came out, at least. And I'm still not a big fan of it. My opinion has not changed. God, this gun does no damage. What else can I find a complaint about? Should probably just run around popping heads with the deagle. I did 30 damage in one shot right there. This deagle has probably my favorite deagle skin in the game. 
Except for a blue cobalt. Okay, we're holding up pretty good. Let me uh replace that shield. I don't know if the shield heals itself over time or the like wiki shield mechanics so I know exactly how it works and we win all right boys thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it checking out the new trinket and the new obsidian for turtle I really like the obsidian I don't think it's worth $20 uh, but I think it's a good card It'd be a good uh, collector's item to have I guess if you if you're into that thing and you got the spare uh, cash to spend on an item that expensive $20 for one card pretty pricey damn 2k credits let's go and uh yeah do your teammates a favor and buy the trinket if you want it it gets you more credits uh, or more of the event hex ads and it gets everyone in the game more hex ads i think it stacks up to it stacks up to six i think so you can you're, you're, everyone in the game gets more hex ads when you have the new trinket so make sure you get that trinket help out your teammates and thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys all next one subscribe if you're not already there'll be more dirty bomb videos uploaded here if you'd like to see them and uh Thanks for watching. Peace, guys. That uh, that box I got at the end, just in case it's a cool bolt. I'm not gonna look. I'm looking, but yeah, it's not a cool bolt. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Yes. Damn right. It's not. <laughs> I say. I say yes every time. I don't get one of the lead cards. Iron. I'll take an iron card. Here's all the cards I've got. I'm gonna. Sa I'm saving these up for a crafting week. Oh, I haven't got that many yet, but I'm saving all these for a crafting week. All right. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Ah, peace.